We have this. I dry aged every meat and ate them. Ooh, he dry aged shrimp, ground beef, ew, lamb, chicken. That chicken looks, that looks like your lips chat when you don't drink water. Make sure to drink water. You over here drinking soda and all right, let's watch this. Welcome back to Guga Foods, everybody. My name is Guga. Today, I am going to dry age every single meat I can find. Check it out. Before starting, I want you to understand what dry aging is. I like to use a special mm. membrane, which is called Umai Dry. It allows me to dry age at home without any special equipment. And all there is to do is to put it inside of this membrane, set it in a cooling rack, and put it on my regular refrigerator for the desired time to dry age. In essence, what dry Ew. age does is it extracts moisture from the meat. It also tenderizes the meat and and it develops a unique flavor that I enjoy. And results sometimes vary, most of the time with a more intense flavor. And after dry aging several steaks, including the most expensive Ew. steak in the world, which was Japanese Wagyu A5, my subscribers always ask me to dry age every type of meat. So today, by their request, I am dry aging everything I can find. Whoa. So let's begin. We start off with shrimp. I have no idea what's about to happen. <gasps> Them bitches are going to shrink. <laughs> There's, it's gonna be nothing but just shell, bro. What the fuck? Decided to find out. For preparation, I kept it pretty simple. I made sure they were all deveined and also removed all the shells. This is a terrible and idea. I to keep Ew. The tails intact. As you'll be seeing throughout this Dude, video. Dude, I'm just video. wondering how his house smells. Like, it must smell either really good because he cooks a lot or just like sh because he's dry aging all this nasty ass food, bro. It just smelled like a, ah, oh, it's gross. Thing left to do is to put it in the bag and make sure that I set all of them to the edge. That way when I'm using my vacuum sealer, I try to remove most of the air out. It does mm. not matter how much you try, all of the air will not come out and that's okay. Now there's left to do is to put it on a cooling rack to make sure the air circulates all the way around and put it on my refrigerator to dry age for 15 days. Ew. Once the time was up, this is what it looks Ew. like. It is paper thin. I don't think there's anything left. I mean, check this out. But let's open it and check it out what we got. And once I did, this is what it looks like. What are you like. supposed to it eat? It doesn't smell fishy. It doesn't smell like shrimp. It actually has no smell at all. And it feels like rubber. Like hard rubber. Once I split it open with my hands, check it out. There's nothing left. Remember that we took all the shells out. Wow. I mean, if I take it apart and put something Ew. like this, look at it. You can make a sculpture out of it. Since it's so dry, there's no smell. It is a perfect sculpture. Yo, cook okay, it. We're going to try it and see how it tastes. Once but I you got to cook it. Check out what it looks like. There's almost nothing there. But once I tried it, it's terrible. Oh, it's like fishy and rubbery. I thought it was going to be kind of Ugh. like a chip. Nope. But what if I grab another piece and put some fire on it? So I took my torch yeah. and burnt it out. Damn. Cooking it a little bit might make it better. As you can see, a I little it was done burnt with the torch it. is very dry. So I dunked it in olive oil and put a little bit of sea salt on top. That should make it better. Let's see. Plah. Nope. That is Oof. horrible. Nope. Not for me. Absolutely not. Chicken breast. This might be one of the most consumed protein throughout this the This is going to be disgusting. Have, have you ever smelled rotten chicken before, chat? Oh, you probably haven't because you're a responsible person. Motherfucker. I left chicken. You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to expose myself. Fuck you. The entire world. So everyone knows what chicken breast tastes like. And to be honest, this one got me a little nervous. But hey, it's an experiment and I'm going to give it a go. Me. Remember, do not try this at home. I'm still very curious to find out what will happen. So after putting it in the membrane and let it dry age for a total of 15 days, this is what I got. Oh. That, friends, is a dry age chicken breast. The most important thing to know if you had success is the smell. If it smells bad, throw it away. If it's a weird smell, throw it away faster. However, when I picked up this chicken breast and I took a sniff at it, it was fine. It did still smell a little bit like chicken, it but not smell? in a bad way. Some parts were soft, just like Play-Doh. The thinner edges, however, was like a rock. Since the oh. smell was not bad, it gave me confidence to trim it. And even though it was hard, it was manageable. And here's what it looks like inside. And after you take it Ew. out of the bag, if you smell it and it does not smell bad, then you are 90% okay. And Please by chewing he's gonna it cook and it. taking another smell, you'll be able to tell if it's bad. And this one did not ring any alarm. But once I was done with the trimming, this is what I got. A very large amount of unused chicken and a very tiny piece for me to cook. I mean, holding it in my hand, guys. This is Bro got a chicken nugget. <laughs> Bro got a dry aged chicken nugget. It's very little and it's kind of sticky, which is very interesting. And as I mentioned, Ew. no bad smell. I kept the seasoning simple with a little bit of oil just to make sure that my seasoning was thick. Then season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. I pan seared it until it was fully cooked. Ooh. And as you can see, it's so thin that it only took a few seconds. And there we have it. Fully dry aid chicken breast. Gourmet and chicken nugget. It open, chicken Yo, out. restaurants will push that shit in front of you and be like $3,000. Like. A few seconds. <laughs> and there we have it. Fully 
Here's your gourmet chicken nugget. <laughs> That'll be $3,000, please. Thank you. Dry aid chicken breast. And once I cut it open, check it out. It looks quite Ooh. dry. And the smell that is coming through is very interesting. It smells like pork crackling. It's a nice smell. Ooh. But let's see how it tastes. Huh. I'll tell you one thing. It does not taste like chicken. It is weird. I would Ooh. say a mix of chicken and fish. By no means is it bad, but it is dry. So dry, I had to take a juice break. And after lubricating my throat, I had an idea. I know you're gonna think- Like, alright, Google, you doing some lubricating throats now, bro? Like, that's what we're doing? I get to dry age it, but you're gonna lubricate your throat? Dude. I can't do this no more! Lubricating throats! What the fuck kind of sound is that? <sighs> okay, sorry. I was lubricating my throat. I saw him drink some orange juice and I wanted some. <laughs> I'm back. Crazy, but hold on a second. Let's just throw this inside of the orange juice and dunk it real good to make it nice and moist and taste it. Oh yeah, that's way better. That's what I'm talking about. Again, don't try this at home. Bacon. We all know what bacon tastes like. I'll tell you one thing, bacon is amazing. It is just basically candy. I that think bacon is overrated. I'm gonna be honest, bacon is probably the most overrated piece of meat ever. I'd rather fried salami, fried spam, fried anything else in, instead of bacon, like fried sausage. Like bacon is so whack as a breakfast food, bro. I'm tired of it. That is how good it is. But I have no idea what dry aging is gonna do to it. However, I'm super pumped to find out. So after putting your whack, man, okay, Jatsugi that doesn't like One Piece and hates on fucking In and Out, whatever, bucko, say whatever you'd like. But listen, one thing you can't tell me is that bacon's good. Fuck you, dude. I let it sit on my refrigerator to dry age for a total of 35 days. And once I did, this is what I got. It completely changed color as expected. Ooh. Hey, but we can't really tell what this looks like, so I gotta remove it out of the membrane. And once I did that, this is what I was left with. It smells wonderful. It still Ooh. smells like bacon, but. Kind Kind of like cooked bacon. But hey, I'm excited to find out what we got inside. And as I did Ooh, my first hold cut, on. Whoa, what is that? It looks like Wagyu beef. And the smell that is coming through is just amazing. Wait, what like the I fuck? Said, it smells like cooked bacon. And I can't wait to find out what it's gonna taste. So I quickly sliced it in small pieces. Yo, you, you can finesse some, you can dry age bacon and be like, yeah, I got some Wagyu A5. Come, come, come and fuck with me, you know what I mean? Come eat some of this Wagyu. Like you could finesse a Wagyu nugget. Okay, bro. It has already plenty of salt. So there's a no Wagyu pieces. nugget. And I threw it in the pan to pan fry it. And I cooked it until it was nicely golden brown. Ooh. And the funny thing is that it cooks a lot faster than regular bacon. It seems like the fat just melts very fast. And it reminds me of Japanese Wagyu A5 when I'm cooking it. But once I was done, check this out. Ooh. <laughs> you tell me that doesn't look good. Come on now. I wish you could smell it. It is a wonderful smell. But hey, the important thing is how it's gonna taste. And when I took my first bite, <laughs> Yes, a nice. That's how I be in my girl's ear. You know what I mean, I be hitting it from the back. Like, that's how it's gonna listen. taste. And when I took my first bite, oh, yes, <laughs> a nice. <laughs> Yo, y'all are nasty, bro. Strong flavor of bacon. It did not change the profile of the taste. It just became better bacon. Oh, that's good. This one is going to go into the empty plate club. This is pork tenderloin. As the name says, it's very tender, Ooh. but it's also very lean. After putting it in the bag, setting on my cooling rack, I decided to dry it for a total of 25 days. Once the time was up, I quickly removed it from the bag, laid it down on my cutting board, and this is what it looks like. That, to me, looks exactly like beef. These little mm. white parts got me a little worried. I I thought it was mowed. But then again, when I took a closer look at it, it wasn't. This one is looking good. And when what I smelled it? it, I didn't find anything wrong with it. It's interesting that the top part lost way more moisture this than This will be a crazy weapon. Like, I'm just saying, if you dry age some fucking tenderloin and swing on someone, like, what are they going to do? Who going to stop you? You know what I mean? That shit was eight. That's dope. Honestly, that's my weapon of choice. Fuck bottom. So I quickly took my knife, sliced it open, and this is what I got. Whoa, that looks good. Ooh. As you can see, it's just like beef and perfectly dry aged. Sometimes when you open it up, it has a weird, funky smell. However, this one doesn't. Whenever you're dry aging, this is exactly what you're looking for. So I moved on to the next step, which is remove all the pellicles. They are hard, they don't taste good, and that's something that you should always get rid of. And I am a true believer on not being cheap. Remove all of it. When I was done, this is what I got left. All the pellicles on the left and the good stuff on the right. Yes, the yield Ooh. is not that great. Holding it on my hand, I can already tell this is gonna be something good. The meat is extremely tender. It also smells wonderful. Reminds me of bacon. I know it sounds weird, but it does. And check this out, it's just basically falling apart. And if it's mm. doing that before it's cooked, oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be good. So I quickly season it with salt and pepper, nothing else. Pan fried it with a little bit of oil and make sure that all edges got a nice crust. I mean, if you take a look at this, you would that never be able fire. to tell that this was actually dry aged first. But once I sliced it open, check this 
this out. It looks so juicy. And as I take a bite, yes, that is phenomenal. It's slightly stronger than fresh, but in a very nice way. I mean, check it out. This one was a success. Let me see if I can cut it by myself with Ooh. my fork. Yes, that is tender. Very nice. Oh, I like that. And here we have salmon. It is one of my favorite fishes to eat. Smoked, dry aged. I don't think seafood works with dry aging, bro. Like it's just too, it's too small. You know what I mean? And then it's like all moisture. You feel me? Maybe I'm bugging, I don't know. Or even raw as a sushi. Salmon is always good. And you already know the drill. After putting it in the membrane, I put it on my refrigerator so that it will sit for a total of 20 days. Once the time was up i quickly removed it from the refrigerator and this is what i got that color is very interesting oh. it almost looks translucent at the same time it does not feel like a rock like the other ones all right enough playing with it let's open it up and see what we got and once i've done all of that oh boy this is oily but at the same time take a look at that color it still smells like salmon but nothing overpowering that's a good sign all right let's cut it open and see what we got and after my very first oh slice, shit whoa check that out it looks like perfection to me however i will say one thing it is extremely oily i'm not quite sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing after i remove the skin i notice the bloodline is very strong and it also feels kind of sticky and gooey no. i say you know what that's gotta go and when i was done trimming this is what i got i mean come on doesn't that look like that looks perfection? really good very nice and intensive color and i can't wait to find out how it's gonna taste i kept the seasoning simple with only salt and fresh Ill, black chap. pepper nothing else i threw in some oil and cook my fish into my preferred doneness. You would never be able Ooh. to tell that this was actually dry aged first. And when I try to cut it open, oh, ho, 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 come on. And when I take my first bite, oh, <laughs> oh he about to moan at me. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, that is phenomenal. It is difficult to put it in words. It still tastes like salmon, but just better. Super oily, concentrated flavor. And to be honest with you, I don't even want to talk. I just want to eat. That was awesome. Ground beef. I like to grind my own meat. And it was done 90% lean, which I used sirloin, and 20% fat. After putting it in the membrane and let it dry age for 35 days, this is what I got. Damn. It is a solid rock. Zero gaps in between. And to my surprise, it is exactly what I'm looking for when dry aging. And when I opened it up in my first slice, whoa, check that out. You tell me if that does not look like a Japanese Wagyu A5 beef. I don't Did know, I I'm poor. I got goggle. I'm Google, Google. I'm, I'm poor. I don't know. I don't know what it look like. I don't got money. I'll never ate Wagyu. Cheapest Wagyu in the world? That looks amazing. But hey, I'm wondering if I can actually make a steak out of this. So I quickly trimmed all the pellicles, and when I was done, this is what I got. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I kept the seasoning simple with salt and freshly ground black pepper, nothing else. So after quickly pan searing and trying to keep the temperature at 135 degrees Fahrenheit internally, this is what I got. What the that fuck? does not look like a steak. It looks like a croquette. The edge is super crispy and it held together like a champ. Ugh. And once I sliced it open, wow. That Ew. is juicy, friends. Remember, I always grind my own beef. So it gives me confidence not to have to cook it all the way through. I mean, check it out. One part is a little bit overcooked on the Ew. top. But the middle is kind of medium rare, which is what I'm looking for every time. You sure you're looking for that? What the fuck was his reasoning? I, his reasoning don't make sense. He's just like, I've ground it myself, so it's okay to eat raw. Like, what? What does that even mean? That's not even like a what? Which is what I'm looking for every time I cook a steak. And when I tried it, yes. <laughs> that is good. It's mm. crunchy, juicy in the middle. It has a very mild dry age flavor. It's nice and fatty. I mean, I'm not gonna go in the limb and say that this is Wagyu, but man, this makes me happy. Mm. Stay tuned because we're gonna explore this further and I have some great ideas with this. And let me tell you something, this joined the Clean Plate Club. Thin sausage. If you are unfamiliar with this one, it is very popular in Brazil. And we absolutely love it. It's made out of pork with some great spices. To dry age it, it's pretty straightforward. Just gotta put it in a bag and put it on my refrigerator and dry age for a total of 20 days. Once the time was up, I quickly removed it out of the bag and took it out, put it on my cutting board, and this is what it looks like. To me, it looks exactly like salami. And holding it on my hand, it also feels like salami. It's still mm, a little soft, I love salami. but let me cut this open and see what we got inside. Check it out. You tell me that doesn't look like salami. It even smells like salami. That's one of the important things with dry age. You can always tell if it's good. If you said salami smell. one more time, bro. It smells wonderful. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It looks like this was a success. If you're wondering if you can remove the casing, absolutely not. It completely binded with the meat. But hey, I can't wait to see how this is gonna taste. So I threw it in the pan with a little bit of oil and cooked it up. 
I like my sausage a little crispy in the edge, so this is perfect. And the wonderful smell that is coming out of it when it's cooking is wonderful. And once I was done cooking, this is what I got. It smells fantastic. And how does it taste? Whoa, strong, very strong. However, it no longer tastes like a regular sausage. It has completely changed the profile, mm. and I kind of like it. I gotta say it, that was pretty good. What tastes Tilapia. like? Probably one of the most popular freshwater fish. After putting it in the bag and- That's what y'all smell like, chat. You're, you're nasty ass coochie. You smell like tilapia for real. Letting it dry age for a total of 21 days, this is what I got. It's looking very similar to the shrimp, but let's open it up and see what we got inside. Whoa, what is that? Ew. That no longer looks like a fish. It seems like it's something from an alien movie. I feel like a Not fish. looking good. Holding it in my hand, it feels like plastic. This edge right here is paper thin. However, the other side, it still looks like we have some meat. But that edge right there is exactly like the shrimp. This one is not looking good. But I think we can save some of the thicker part. So like every dry age, I started by removing some Tilapia particles. nugget. And the very first part was easy. But the second one, what is this? Hold on, let me get a bigger knife. What? This is strong. Hold on, maybe a bigger knife will do. Oh my god. There you go. Bigger always does the job. Let me tell you something. That's this right. Bigger does the job. Come get this. You feel me? <laughs> it's very hard plastic. And it is almost impossible to cut. But once I was done with my trimming, this is what I got left. Everything that needs to go bye-bye on the left. And the good stuff on the right. Putting it next to my peri knife, you can tell that I have almost nothing left. The yield of this dry aging experiment is not very good. Ew. But this one actually feels kind of nice. I'm excited to find out how it's gonna taste. So I threw a little bit of oil to make sure my seasoning was thick. And I threw in a little bit of salt and pepper. Nothing else. Pan seared it until it was nicely cooked. That only took a few seconds. And I ended up- That's how I'll be cooking, bro. I'm not gonna lie when I'm struggling. You know what I mean? $3 in the bank account, making tilapia nuggets. I up with a nice looking piece of fish. It's just very small. Now when I'm smelling it, it smells quite different. Mm. It does not smell like fish. I I would say it smells kind of like pork but when i took a bite it's nice however i can't tell any difference between this one and a fresh one the only major difference is that this one is dry but taste wise it's the same lamb shank if you are like me you love lamb but how is it gonna taste dry aged Hmm, at least I never heard of dry aging lamb. The only way to find out is to do I want it. Lamb. So I quickly put it on the membrane and let it dry age in my refrigerator for a total of 35 days. Honestly, bro, lambs are so cute. Why the fuck are we eating them? Like, chat, we're eating a whole lot of animals that are so nice and cute. I'm not going to become vegan. I'm going to keep on eating them. But I'm just saying, like, damn, why aren't they ugly? They could have been, like, ugly or something. So I wouldn't feel as bad for eating them. You know what I mean? More protein. Oh, the cuter they are, the more protein they have. Bitch, I'm working out. I need them. Give me the cutest animal you can find. I'm going to eat that motherfucker. Once the time was up, this is what I got. Ooh, this one is not looking good. And it has a very strong smell. Oof. Hey, but we got it open and see what we got. And once I took it out, check this out. I'm not quite sure if it's coming through the camera, but that white part there is actually green. Green on dry edges is a no-no. And the foul smell that is coming through is not pleasant. I hope my camera is doing its justice. Ew. The only thing you can't really experience is the smell. It smells horrible. And something that I'm happy that you're not experiencing. But I mean, once I picked it up, check this out, everybody. Look at that. That green stuff is just not normal. And once I took a sniff at it, whoa, that is terrible. No, no, I'm not doing it. That is why I tell you, your nose will tell you everything. But hey, this is an experiment. I gotta go through. So I started to remove the pellicles. No, you I don't. You that, don't gotta do oh, it for us, bro. Man, the smell is just overwhelming. It intensified by a thousand. Whenever I'm dry aging, I always listen to my nose. It will tell me everything I need to know. Ew. Trust me, you could tell when something is not good. I mean, it seems that the mold even went inside of the bone itself. This is a complete disaster. I'm really considering cooking it to see if anything is gonna change but when i took Don't. a smell of it oh nah forget it i'm not doing it nope let me go sanitize my board and also my knife this is a no-go chicken thighs this one is good because everyone can relate to it i also want to test if there's more flavored dry aging chicken thighs which sounds totally wrong that is why we are running this experiment after 15 days of dry aging on my refrigerator Ew. i took it out and this is what it looks like i mean if you've seen a few already what do you think about this it's way too thin and it feels like a rock so i quickly went to town on removing all yeah. the pellicles. I'll tell you one thing as I'm open this up it smells much stronger than the chicken breast and when I say strong I mean it let me be clear it does not smell like it's bad it just has a strong flavor of chicken but once mm -hmm. I was done trimming I got all the pellicles on the left and the rest of my chicken thighs on the right I mean check this out this is like not even a bite it's yo Google if you don't get that little ass nugget on my 
face, bro. I'll slap that shit out your hand on everything I love. Put them little nuggets down. Damn, dude. Who are you feeding? A fucking family of ants? Like, what are we talking about? It's probably smaller than a piece of sushi. But hey, the important thing is the taste. So I quickly season it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. And to keep everything the same, I pan fried it until it was fully cooked. And once I was done, check it out. Oh. That, my friends, is a dry aged chicken. Not very appealing. But hey, let's see how it tastes. Nothing. It tastes like a chicken thigh. Nothing different. It's just a little piece of chicken. Nothing happened. Ew. How is that possible? I'll tell you one thing. It tasted good, but I did not expect that. And here we have Italian sausage. Oh, yeah. Mm. Spicy and very popular throughout the entire United States. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so after putting it in the bag, I let it dry age for a total of 35 days. And once the time was up, this is what it looks like. Check out that color. It looks like a chorizo. So I quickly removed it out of the membrane and here's what we got. To be honest, it smells wonderful. It's still very soft. There's almost smell, no chat. chemicals except on the top. And it just feels like a nice soft salami. And once I was done with my trimming, this is what I got. But now all there's left to do is to cook it up in the pan and see what it tastes like. I mean, can you see the spices coming through? And the smell, guys, is strong, powerful, not in a bad way. But I'm excited to find out what it's gonna taste. But after pan searing it to make sure I cooked all the way through, this is what I was left with. Juicy, smells good. And once I took my first bite, hmm, interesting. It tastes like a sausage. There's no difference. I mean, I'm used to eating this sausage, so I know exactly what it tastes like. I don't actually think nothing happened. And it was dry aged for quite some time. It's good, but I'd much rather that thin one. That was a pretty good video, chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wouldn't, huh? I wouldn't dry age, nay, maybe a meatball. I wanna dry age a meatball. You know what I mean? Just so I can see it shrink, like a shrink a little ball and then throw it at you. I wouldn't even eat it. Just, I just wanna dry age something so it's mad hard and used as a weapon.